Alright guys, last time I promised to, uh, this is part two of the Ohm's Law. I promised that I was going to do, put some numbers in here, so that way you could see how it all equals out and how true it is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the numbers here, like, let's say the current is 2 amps, okay? We're going to write there 2 amps, let me get a pen, click, write 2 amps in here. This is 2, okay? Two. Ah, it should be a different color. Let's write a different color here. It's important to write different colors. Let's try the bloody red, okay? Two goes right here. Two times four. How's that? Huh? It's gonna be eight, right? This stuff is freaking me out. How's that? That's an 8. <laughs> so here you go. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. You see how you use the table? Okay. And you know the current is what? 2, right? And you know what the voltage is, right? 8 up here, right? A 0 there and a 0 there. 2 times 8 is 16 is the power in wattage. 16 watts. There you go. See how it comes out? 16 divided by 8 is 2. Okay, 16 divided by 2 is 8. That's the voltage. So here you go. This is easy to work out. Now, let's try this. E squared is what? Ooh. You know that E squared is 8 times 8, right? That's 64. 64. Now, let's see if these work. A P is what? 16. The power is 16 this side 16 and the R resistance is 4 see it? 4 is that true? 16 times 4 is 64? yes it is there you go we'll continue P is 16 16 and I is 2 2 amps remember? As an example, and I times R, duh, this is going to be a number inside here. I is 2. It's a lousy 2. And the R is 4. And there you go, the lousy 4. Because 2 times 4 is 8, right? And I times R here is 2 times 4 is 8, right? So 8 times I again is 2 is 16. And see, we all got this correct. And just apply them in here, and then you can figure out the wattage, the current, or the voltage, or vice versa. Any which way you want. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't see nothing about 32 up here. It's like something is missing. The missing link. Maybe we'll call it something else. <laughs> like, for instance, uh, a circle, right? It's a circle. A circle. And then we're going to have a line, like we always have. This is my way, okay? <laughs> Another line here. So, cross mult the multiplication, remember? Erase it. I take an eraser. Click, click, click. Whatever. Okay. And now we're missing like uh, 32. Something that adds to 32. Wonder what it is. Let me see. What would we? What would you say it is? 32. I know one day in the future they'll come up with this and say, hey, I remember Lewis mentioning that. So let's see what's missing. E times R. I don't see no E times R here. Like E voltage. E is 8. R is 4. 8 times 4, 32. E times R. 
there come up to? He changed R, it's 32. E is what? Right, 8. 8, and R is what? 4. There you go. And what is this equal to? If you ever find out, let me know. Because that's something that nobody has done so far. But it comes out to 32. What is it? And none of these numbers come out to 32, as you can see. So, see what it is. Uh, something new, maybe uh, some sort of dissipation or something of my brain waves. <laughs> So and there are some other ones that are not here. As you can see, 8, 16, 16, 32, 64, and it keeps going up. Who knows? All right, my friend, that was part two. Hope you understand it and uh, look at. If you haven't looked at part one, so that way how the, all these numbers comes out. Look at it. Put, put a comment there. Cool. Chill out. Okay.